For those parents who have been concerned about the vision of their children and who are convinced that their children need glasses but have not been able to afford the expensive corrective lenses, the Ministry of Health and Environment, in collaboration with the Ministry of Education, has launched a school eye program called I Can See Clearly. And this program is a joint effort between the government of Dominica and the government of Cuba. Assistant Chief Education Officer Jeffrey Blaise informed that the program is all part of creating a conducive learning environment for students. Uh, this project is critical to the, the effective delivery of educational services and consequently student output, student performance. Within the Ministry of Education, we have recognized that um, we need to rule out risk factors that are not cognitive in nature and one of those would obviously be sight impairment of students and we recognize that if we can isolate this factor and rule it out then the teachers within the classroom can concentrate greater on the cognitive and the classroom level factors <coughs> to improve student performance so the project is very very critical for the ministry of education and we are happy that we are we are starting um this project now according to Blaise. Preliminary assessments will be run simultaneously across the island between today and Friday for primary schools. Next term, the fifth formers will be screened, followed by assessments for the rest of the school population. And those who will need referrals will move on to the second phase of testing. And Education Minister Peter Seja says that there are startling statistics presented about the vision of students. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as Minister for Education, I'm pleased to be associated with this project as for me I believe it is a lifetime investment in the future of our country our children I've been reliably informed that data coming from the vision screening within our school health program shows the need for addressing our children's eye care needs and Kenneth Daru, the Minister for Health and Environment, assures that expenses will be met by the government. As hinted to earlier, we also recognize that many parents are unable to pay for their children's eye health care, especially the correctional lenses that oftentimes are required to rectify the identified issue. In other words, glasses, spectacles, and contact lenses cost lots of money. And of course, they have to be changed ever so often, which even makes it more, more, more expensive in terms of its sustainability. <coughs> even when the need is acute and absolutely necessary, we find that some parents, guardians, etc., are not able to afford these, um, these measures. And the government of the, of the Commonwealth of Dominica has given the commitment to meet the expenses incurred in the procurement of these glasses. And he commended the Prime Minister on his vision to ensure that no child in Dominica loses his or her sight because of the parents' financial situation. The program will not only assess vision problems, but also other health factors, including body mass index and risk factors that can lead to obesity and diabetes. Parents are encouraged to take full advantage of this opportunity. School children 18 years and under will be seen under the program.